back at the Beach Club Marketplace and I thought for sure that it would be open at this point because it's later than they said it would be open. But sure enough, it is still closed under refurbishment. We're gonna take a look around. I kind of wanted to try some like new food item from Beach Club Marketplace, but now that we're here, I definitely want to go back to Yacht Club and uh, try some there. Now that we're here though, take a look, they're actually moving some of the uh, podiums. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe there is an open. Just found out that it's gonna be opening up October 2nd. So a little bit of a change there, but I, uh, I'm looking forward to Beach Club Marketplace opening back up. Solarium is still open, by the way. They're just kind of moving a few things around, so that's cool. But I wanna try some food that we've never tried before at the Yacht Club. It's always amazing to me how you can basically go between the Yacht and Beach Club, be outside, and still undercover the whole time. It's, it's always so, like, you know, it's nice to re-experience that. So if you're staying at one, you've got full access to the other. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. The Butter Pecan Pumpkin Spiced Milkshake, new from Beaches and Cream. This is a very specific one for the Halloween season. Beaches and Cream to-go window here, available. I'm tempted, I'm not gonna get it, but I'm tempted. A couple months ago, I said to myself after going to Disney restaurants that I wanted to try every single restaurant on property. Originally, I was just kind of going around see if I could try something new, but I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna break down the list, like just print out a full list, and start just checking them off as I go, maybe even giving them ratings as I go along to just try them all, try every single one so we can experience them together. I just, I feel like that's something like super cool. Like, oh, we've tried all the restaurants. The problem is, here's the thing, they're constantly being refurbished. New ones are coming. So you gotta like, you know, you're thinking about it all the time. Okay, new restaurant here, new restaurant there. Eventually, I'm sure, we're gonna try them all. Here it is, the market. How's the uh, spicy Italian panini? Your recommendation, I'm definitely gonna say yes to that one. I'm really glad we're trying something here from the uh, market menu. Take a look underneath, you've got chargers for your cell phone. Standard plug and two USB plugs at every table. Now I did get this one to go, just in case I wanna eat half and then get the other you know, half a little later. From the Yacht Club market, we've got that is spicy Italian sandwich. Looks really incredible and smells super, super good. Really looking forward to diving into this one. I'm hoping that we get that like strong pepperoni taste. I can smell the pepperoni. I'm hoping we can taste it too. It is incredibly hot. Bon appetit. Too hot, too hot, too hot. We'll let it cool for a minute. Okay, it has cooled off just a little bit here. Let's go for that second bite. In terms of hot Italian sandwiches, it's a good one. It is. The number one still for me, no doubt about it, is Gasparilla Island Grill. That Italian sandwich is outstanding. The time we had it before the last time. So, so good. This though, is really good. After a few more bites here, gotta tell you, I really do enjoy it. Great, great flavor. Pepperoni in there, love that. Definitely got some heat to it. Like like jalapeno, maybe? Or some other heat, you know, style, not just like hot, like, like heat from the peppers. You get the idea. It's good, it is good. Still, Gasparilla Island Grill, my favorite Italian so far at Disney. Now I wanna take a few minutes today to talk about the amazing cast members at Disney. You know, cast members make the magic in a way that I don't think any of us can fully describe because we don't see all the cast members do all around Walt Disney World. For most of us, we come to Walt Disney World, we enjoy the experience and it was flawless, it was so much fun, and then we head on back home. The cast members live it each and every day and make such an incredible experience every day single day for thousands of guests. You know, I personally do not know enough about business practices and how things have to be a certain way with budgets and all of that in order to make something as amazing as Walt Disney World come to life. All I can say about the, the recent changes here at Walt Disney World is that the cast members truly make the magic. And every single one that I've interacted with has enhanced the magic for me in some way or another. So I just wanna take a special moment today to thank cast members, both present and past. Every cast member who has made magic for guests over the entirety of Walt Disney World and Disneyland's existence and other parks around the world, even Disney stores. Thank you. Just, just a, a day to say thank you because without you, and I think Walt said it too, there, there is no magic. It's cast members make the magic. So thank you, cast members. I know why Walt Disney World is in Florida. We all know the story. Walt bought that great land and we've got land for years and years to come to build even more magic. <laughs> I think to myself, Florida's like the, the rain state. <laughs> you know, it may surprise you to know that I actually don't mind the rain too much. You know, it's umbrella in hand, walking around, having a great time. The, the thing that makes it a little bit difficult for me is the camera. I love holding the camera, I love it. It's just when it's raining, it's like, okay, gotta protect it, you know what I mean? And so it's, uh, it's just, just an extra piece to think about. But uh, you know, it's something that you get used to pretty fast living in Florida. You know, the debate of poncho versus umbrella has been going on for some time. I'm a big uh, advocate of umbrella, personally. It's quick, it's easy, it doesn't stick to you because 
in Florida, the humidity is such another big piece of it. That's why I'm a more umbrella guy rather than poncho, but I've worn ponchos. No doubt about it, it's just that the humidity with the poncho is just a little overwhelming. So that's me. If you're coming in the winter months, maybe poncho, maybe. We might have to try it again, but uh, the side note, it's tough to see here, I know, but let me tell you, the uh, construction here at Epcot is well underway again. We saw it kind of stall for uh, a couple months there, but it's nice to know that it's uh, up and running once again. Flavors from Fire, back in that direction, is open, but we're still waiting on the donut box to open. I, I'm thinking it might be slightly different. It looks similar, wait, red velvet glazed cake donut. That does sound different. Gotta look back. Find out for sure. When it's raining at Epcot, it almost always closes test track, but I hear it running around. Maybe that's the test? Maybe that's live. I'm gonna find out. Very kind customer just told me that it's closed because of weather, but they're trying to get it back open right now. It's with the testing, going, the car's going around. Nobody's in them, they're testing it to make sure it's safe. So he said, just hang around the area. They might be opening any minute, so we might do that. While we're waiting though, I want to check out a certain restaurant. There it is, right back there, the latest, so uh, possibly latest, <laughs> Disney restaurant that's going to be opening soon-ish. We still do not have any official updates about when exactly it will open, but what we do know is that behind this construction wall right here is the new entrance sign for Space 220. The two construction walls that I see are right there, right by the entrance, and then there's one right back here, the kind of yellow tape above it. I would imagine the yellow tape is the indicator for you go this way for space 220. Again, we're not 100% sure about the entrance and all that, but I, I would imagine that you kind of like right beyond this wall right there, you kind of go to the right and then you make your way back into the space station launch point. It's a little tough to see back here, but you see how this kind of area is covered right there. I don't think that's where you go. I think you go on like a, a walkway to the right of it. You can't see it from, uh, from this angle because the wall is there intentionally, but I think it's just like the sign is here and you walk straight and to the right, and then we'll make it all the way back towards the space launch point. I see some people moving around test track right now, so maybe? Look at that, just as the cast member said, test track has reopened and it's still drizzling. Let's do it. Good suggestion. Oh, yeah, thank you. Screens here are off as working the test track. Look at this one. It's like this really nice colorful design with like the trees and grass and great colors. I love it. We'll begin with the capability test. Whoa. Whoa. Imagine a lot more of the neon for Tron life cycle. But it won't be green, it'll be blue. Woo! 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 That feels great. You know, I never noticed like the Chevy warehouse right there, right by the exit. You know, when all this is over, we don't have to wear the masks anymore, and you know, we've moved on to bigger and better things outside of the mask. We're gonna have like a, we're gonna have like a ceremony or a celebration, like the mask removal ceremony when it all happens. I think we're all overdue for that feeling, right? Trying to think, okay, they must bring in the cars through that door over there. I've always kind of wondered like, how do they get the cars in here? It's gotta be like that door, because there's no other door that I can see. Is that far one over there? That uh, would allow a car to come through. That is awesome. This is the Baby Yoda child travel blanket. You can see the blanket is actually stored in this uh, container that actually looks like that I'm gonna say the pod that brings the child around in the Mandalorian, and then you can actually take it out, you can see right there, of the container and use it as a blanket. But I saw on this little image right there, you see how it kind of hangs on your, on your bag? So you're kind of like walking around, dragging your bag, and you have this on the back, kind of like you're taking the child with you. So smart, this is, this is so smart. I know we've had a lot of quick trips to Disney recently, but let me tell you, it's magical. No matter how short or long we're here. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. Wow. <laughs>